Okay guys, it's me, the Auntie Beauty Queen, and you are probably wondering, who am I? Where have I been? Well, I have a lot to go over in the next couple months. Um, I'm a little different. Got a few little additions to my body. Um, but I decided to kick off 2019 with just a fun video before I make my whole where have I been. I just thought I would do a fun little uh, states shopping vlog blog video if you hear my little piggy he's upset because he just wants what's on this table right now so don't mind him he may cry he may whine but i just thought i would do a little shopping video for you on what i got in the states just just going to start kind of picking things up and then setting them to the side. This is some Paul Newman's organic chicken dinner for dogs. No, this is not for me or Sugar Bear, even though it probably will still taste delicious. We don't get fun things for the dogs either, really, when it comes to little like snack thingies. So I decided to pick this up. And then we also picked up this uh, Rachel Ray Peak Pate grain free uh, I think it's the chicken flavor. Yes, the two of those for our dogs. Um, we also picked up this one, which is Rachel Ray, but this one's for our kitty, the perfect entree. Um, we picked this up for the kitty, some white real tuna. Uh, this is from the Blue Bayou or Blue Buffalo. Yes, Blue Buffalo um, brand. We do have Blue Buffalo, but just not this particular kind of treat. And then we also picked up some uh, Frisky's Little Soups. Now I know Frisky's is not a good brand, uh, but it was just like a fun little thing I've never seen before. So one or two won't hurt. And then for uh, some more non-food related thingies, um, these actually have a funny story behind them. We were in Disney World recently back in November. I was at Animal Kingdom and I got shit on. No joke, literal shit on my shoulder, on my brand new Disney sweater, may I add? And one of the uh, Disney attendants whipped out these. These were amazing, uh, gross, but no shit was left on that amazing sweater. So we don't have this, even though we do have Johnson & Johnson in Canada. We just don't have these shut wipes. So Sugar Bear actually reminded me and we picked up a or couple. Your hair. Yeah, no, and I got it in my hair too. So little keynote. If you get shit on, shout wipes will work perfectly in your hair. I went to Ulta and I just picked up these Ardell um, dual lash applicator. And it's kind of got that little stub at the bottom to push in the lashes. And then obviously the little tweezer part. And this is from Drew Barrymore's uh, brand Flower. And this is Warrior Glitter Shadow. And this is in the color... Poison. And then one last thing, um, I just got some really cute, uh, cheap Valentine's Day string lights for my bedroom. The first thing that I got was this Trader Joe's Urban Garlic Seasoned Beef Sirloin Steak with chimichurri sauce. Do not worry, we did not drive uh, without a cooler, so this is still good. Hard as a rock. Uh, the other thing that I was really excited to pick up, because I always see it in Nikki Philippi's videos, was this unexpected uh, cheddar cheese. Now, I have no idea what this tastes like, but according to her, it's the best cheese ever. So I picked up two of those, and I also picked up some of this uh, albacore tuna. I know it's just tuna, but I still wanted to try it. And I gotta say, the price for the food is unreal no i know we have to convert it obviously to canadian dollars but the price of your food is still really really good then i saw these i've never seen these in any type of grocery store ever it's just these mini brie bites i think this is such a good idea you can't eat a whole brick of brie without feeling like shit so this is a really great thing to throw in the lunch and then i picked up some of this 21 seasoning salute Hopefully I'm saying that right. Spices of the world. If you've tried this, let me know if it's good. Um, and then I also picked up just some of this onion salt. Some other stuff that I bought at Trader Joe's that I'm really excited for are these uh, toasted sesame caramels, dark chocolate flavor. And as you can see, I haven't tried any of this stuff yet. So 
can't tell you if I like it or not. Uh, Sugar Bear picked up some of these whiskey pickles. They're from the Brooklyn Brine Company. Kind of nervous to try those. And I picked up the organic kosher hot and spicy dill pickle chips. For my lunch, I picked up some of this chicken tikka masala. Love chicken tikka masala. Um, it just looks like it would be a lot of a healthier option. And I bought these for my mom. She loves macaroons. And these are found in the frozen section. Two fig, two lemon, two apricot, two coconut, two pistachio, two salted caramel. Um, for the other cheese, I got, I just picked up some of these cheese curds, um, whole cheese milk cheddar bites. Believe it or not, if you want to make authentic poutine, you got to pick up yourself some cheese curds. According to Sugar Bear, the squeakier, the better. And I thought this would be really great. Um, believe it or not, I can never, ever, ever find Hawaiian rolls. <laughs> I don't know if Canada sells them or not. Um, but these aren't are they? Ho they're Haloha rolls. So I'm going to assume it's just Trader Joe's version of sweet Hawaiian rolls. Hawaiian rolls. Um, but hopefully they are the same thing because I've always wanted to try them. And then last but not least for Trader Joe's, I believe, are just some of these yogurts. So I got the Trader Joe's Greek whole milk yogurt and guava passion fruit. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to split these with my mom and Sugar Bear so we can you know, obviously I'll taste them. Uh, then I got these cultured coconut milk blueberry yogurts. And then just a couple of these ones, which are, I believe milk. Is it milk? Milk, yes. Greek yogurt, non-fat, and the vanilla bean. And then obviously my favorite the strawberry. So that is what I got. Oh, no, one more thing. And I can't believe I forgot this. I see it all the time in videos. <gasps> the cookie butter can't wait to try that is it good let me know the last bit i'm going to show you is from uh target no this is not healthy i'm pretty sure peep cereal doesn't you know count as a healthy carb uh fat girl diaries has obviously left the chat but this is just some fun stuff i really wanted to try <laughs> so don't don't judge me okay um but some of this stuff too it will coincide with videos I want to do for the channel and I'll get to that when I obviously get to the product so the first things first I don't know why Canada just can't get their shit together but Cheez-Its bake snack crackers like what's like why why can't Cheez-Its come to Canada I don't understand kind of in the same category um these dip and goes uh they are from Mr. Salty. I don't even if, if that's the brand or not um but these are pretzels and cheese my favorite thing in the world honestly and I'm excited to try those and then more with like the whole uh like school work snack thing are these uh, Milano is that how you spell it say it Milano Pepperidge Farm little just individual uh cookies that you can throw with your uh lunch to go to work now uh these obviously we have butterfingers in Canada but we don't get like cool kitschy valentine's day or easter like we don't get that really um so i just saw these and i just i wanted them there's no excuse for that um and then we just got two cheeses some uh pepper jack i've never tried pepper jack and then some kobe cheese so moving along to some of the things that i want to try in videos uh this guy right here so last year when I was taking a YouTube break, uh, Sugar Bear and I decided that every single month we would try a Disney recipe and then watch the movie that it kind of went with. So we were watching that month Princess and the Frog and we wanted to make some actual Creole gumbo. It called for this stuff. We don't have it. And I was devastated because it obviously did not taste as good as what it could. Saw this, picked it up, and what I want to start doing is uh, making those into videos, uh, trying a Disney recipe, and then basically showing you how we cook that meal and doing kind of like a little taste test on our channel. And uh, the other thing, oh, <coughs> Nathan's hot dogs. I mean, come on. Get it together, Canada. These are the best hot dogs in life. 
So we're gonna probably uh, do a little cooking video with these because we picked up a couple packages. Maybe like a game day type video, even though we don't watch sports, but we will see how that goes. Wanted to try these, these Auntie Anne's pretzel hot dog dealios. We have Auntie Anne's in Canada. Um, but I just wanted them because we don't have them uh, as like a fridge grocery option. Always got to stock up on a fun uh, Pop-Tarts flavor. I got the strawberry milkshake. Oh, Oreos. We get some fun type of Oreos, but not the most uh, amazing selection. So I did not want to get the carrot cake Oreos. That was a big thing. And the red velvet. I wanted to try these though. They look really, really good. I always stock up on the popcorn butter. We don't have this at all. We do have kernels like shaking season type thingies, but we don't for whatever reason have the movie theater butter. Uh, horrible for you, like let's be real, but I still like it. This is a shout out to Big Mouth. I know that's disgusting. If you've watched the show, you know this is a reason why one of the kids gets excited, but we don't have Land Lakes butter. So this was just a fun thing to reminisce over Big Mouth with my husband. Um, and then just some of the uh, yogurts. I love Chobani. Chobani doesn't love Canada. So I just got strawberry. Um, I always stuck up on Chobani when I go to the States. Lemon and cream. Uh, which one is this? This is the blackberry raspberry key lime pie my absolute favorite and then just strawberry and yogurt and i picked up one of these as well and i really wanted this jar i know um and then a couple more things the tahoe white chocolate macadamia nut cookies from pepperidge farms and a fun cereal peeps and then last but not least a couple fun chips these are my absolute favorite little fun fact you can only get the small bags of these at subway not even grocery stores or convenience stores carries this type of flavor. Um, so I picked up a couple of those. And then just this fun Doritos uh, flavor Blaze. I've never tried it. We don't have it. Um, we do have chips that you guys don't have. But uh, you still have really great hot chip options that I'm very jealous about. But that is what I got, guys. Do not worry. Honestly, I am coming back. I'm going to be making a lot more videos. I'm going to actually start making beauty videos as well. I want to say thank you to everyone who has messaged me wondering if I'm still alive or not. I am. And uh, I hope that you continue watching my content. If you'd like to subscribe, become a part of the Anti-Beauty Queen family, you can do so by hitting subscribe on YouTube and following me at Anti-Beauty Queen on Twitter and Instagram. And until next time, I'll catch you on the flippy flop. Bye.